Evening. Okay, so tonight um, this is a very quick video of uh, my first wing build. Uh, it's the second wing that I've got. It's the uh, second of two wings I've got on the go at the moment. But um, this is going to be my first wing that I'm going to fly. Um, I've gone for something basic, um, albeit probably made it a little bit more complicated than what it should have been. Hey ho! No fun unless it's a challenge. So as you can see, it's a Reptile S800. It's a version one, and um, yeah, it's it's built. It was relatively straightforward to build. The foam is great, absolutely rock solid. Uh, it's nothing you've not heard before. Um, so quick run through of all of the bits. So it's a Reptile S800 from uh, Banggood. Uh, the receiver I've got a. FR Sky D4R2. Um, I've programmed it to use uh, PPM because I have iNav inside. Um, I've got a Immersion RC Tramp HV version 2 as the VTX. I've got a Lumineer uh, Pagoda antenna, which you can see there. I'm using Emacs. I think they're um, the Metal Gear Digital 9 gram servos. I'm using the stock control horns and the stock linkages, um, and I'll I'll beef it up later. Um, the motor is a uh, what can I? It's an Emacs. Let's see if I can focus on this. Is the new Emacs. LS2207, it's the 1900kV and as you can see I've chopped a bit off of the, the back and I'm swinging a 7x, I think it's a 7x 3.5 inch prop uh, might get down to 6x4 or 6x4.5, we'll see but uh, yeah, so as I mentioned before it's running INAV uh, and it's a combination, so it's the Matek F405 STD, that's the Matek Standard um, INAV board, and it's sat on top of the FPV Hub hyphen W. Um, now I will open up inside. Uh, big thanks to Edgar for doing the 3D print of the uh, slightly larger canopy. Get rid of that. So, as I mentioned, it is running the Matek unit. So, the top board is the flight controller. Uh, this here is for the camera. I may reroute that slightly later on. And then over here, we have the TX and RX for the GPS and the 3.3 volts for the GPS which I rooted out into the wing and that is the Betane BN180 GPS it's GPS only, it's not, it's not got the magnetometer um, so it just does lat long so going back to the PDB um, it's a very, a very nice, very easy to set up PDB. Uh, there is a insulation displacement connector, which goes between the PDB, which you can just see at the top of the PDB there. That goes to the flight controller, and essentially the PDB does, I think it's nine volts, uh, selectable five, six or five and a half volts for your servos and also 3.3 volts for uh, your GPS and any other equipment. As you can see the, the flight controller does have the barometer which you can just see there. Um, apart from that that's about it really. Um, it's I've tried to make it as tidy as possible. Oh, we'll go underneath as well so you can see underneath. So, on this side we have the D4R2, as I said, running PPM, so just one one set of servo wires um, out 
into the uh, fuselage. I'm running it a Yep 30 amp ESC. I'm not using the Beck um, because I'm using the PDB as that has a 5 amp. I've set it to 5.5 volts for the servos. And then over to the other side, I'm running the Tramp HV 5.8 gig VTX set to 25 milliwatts. Yeah, right. Um, so as you can see, what I've actually done, and I'll, I'll put a picture up if anybody wants to see it, I've used a very small uh, RAM sink with some thermal epoxy on it. Now, the Tramp HV does um, have thermal control, however, the last thing you want when you're flying out is your VTX throttling the power to it and all of a sudden you lose signal. So there is reasonable um, airflow to it, but I've just gone belt and braces and what the hell. Put a ram sink on it. Now, so yeah, I've moved the, uh, the VTX uh, mounts off to the wing slightly. There's the pagoda as you can see. Uh, the servos are glued and taped in. Again, like I said, stock control horns, yada yada yada. Um, I do have a 3D print coming for the D4R2, that will go on shortly, or go on whenever I get a chance to get it. Uh, on the front, so uh, I'm not using a GoPro, so there's stacks of room up front. That's a Foxeer Predator. And, um, so without the GoPro in the front, it actually requires... Where is the battery? There it is. It needs two of these up front to get anywhere close to CG. That's a 3S1800. Now, it hits CG with a 4S2800. And believe it or not, it fits. A 4S2800 Turnergy uh, 30C LiPo fits in there perfectly and it just about hits CG so we shall see how it flies um, I've got iNav set up and I did have fun and games setting up the iNav orientation because originally the board um, as you can see the marker on the board was actually pointing to the to the uh, or left as you're watching the video right as it's facing forward um, I did rotate it round slightly. One thing to note is that the flight controller does come with rubber, I'll get my finger out of the way, rubber grommets to isolate the vibrations. And what I have done is underneath the PDB, I've used some moon gel. So there is a certain amount of um, give, if you like, or uh, vibration absorption on the mount. We'll see how that goes and take it from there. Uh, this is only my second iNav build. Um, I'm not very good at iNav, but what the hey. It's a bit of a challenge and it's my first wing, so there she is. Maiden, hopefully this weekend. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, ask questions, leave comments, rants, raves, all the rest of it, flames. Thanks for now. Cheers. Bye for now.